Good morning, everybody. Brian Newbert here again from GoldenBlack.com, live in the old home office. It is Friday, June 5th. This is your GoldenBlack.com daily quarantine simulcast. Last of the week, last of quarantine. Um, it's brought to you by Fox Purdue Bookstores, Purdue Federal Credit Union, the Sixth Street Dive Restaurant, First Source Bank, East End Grill, and the Charters Team Remax Ability Plus. I want to remind you once again, if you're looking for a great dinner or to simply support our local businesses as they hopefully transition out of this very difficult time, in our history, please keep in mind the uh, Sixth Street Dive in Lafayette, East End Grill in downtown Lafayette, um, Arnie's all over the place, Bruno's on the levee, Triple uh, X on the hill, and the Whitaker Inn out in West Lafayette. I'm sure they'd very much appreciate hearing from you. If you're accessing this video via YouTube, please hit that subscribe button sometime, hopefully relatively soon. Uh, normalcy, to some extent, will resume here and... Uh, more stuff that isn't me will be coming across that channel. And again, that will be a great day for all of us. As I said before, this is, uh, this is where we end this um, little feature we did uh, with Purdue returning to some athletic activity. Not that that necessarily changes things um, wholesale. Figured this would be a good stopping point uh, for this little thing we did uh, here every day. Uh, this little conversation we've had. Um, we've come a long way together. Uh, you have seen this room go from peep yellow to something Sherwin-Williams calls on the rocks. You have met my cat. You have met my lightsaber green level. And uh, it's been fun. Um, the reason we did this was just wanted to do something to help people pass the time. I understand everybody's situation was different and not everyone was so fortunate that they could be at home all day. Um, but wanted to do something to keep the conversation going uh, to a certain extent, to pretend at least that things were at least a little bit normal, even though the subject matter here obviously covered a lot of what was abnormal about all of this. Uh, wanted to just kind of keep people connected the best we could. Wanted, most importantly, to make sure that our, our sponsors, people who have been good to us, uh, were in your ear every day when they needed you most. And uh, I hope uh, you guys have supported or at least considered supporting, preferably supported, um, the uh, Fox Purdue Bookstore as best you could, Purdue Federal Credit Union, Sixth Street Dive Restaurant, East End Grill, First Source Bank, and the Charters Team Remax Ability Plus. I understand there's only so much level of support one could provide during this uh, pandemic, but the restaurants especially, I uh, wanted to make sure that you were hearing their names every single day. And uh, I hope it helped them to some small ex extent. They've been good to us. And uh, that's part of the reason we wanted to do this. Um, where do things kind of go from here now? Uh, from a, a Purdue sports perspective, I think, obviously, uh, don't want to call it the best case scenario, but a something much better than the worst case scenario seems to be unfolding. There's no guarantee yet uh, there's going to be football in the fall, but every indication, every trending metric suggests there is going to be Football here this fall, the worst case scenario, obviously, was going to be a completely lost season and the financial disaster that would have come from that, not to mention the fact that college football would have had a, a, a gap in its history, not to mention the fact that America needs college football right now. America needs something um, positive, something good, and uh, something it enjoys. And, uh, you know, I think... We need sports back. We need sports back bad. Uh, not at the expense of anything irresponsible, but I think we need sports back bad. And every indication here obviously has been that football season will occur, uh, as I mentioned, at least at Purdue. Um, you saw yesterday comments made about Purdue's plan uh, for the football season uh, in terms of capacity. Uh, not necessarily going over 25% capacity, that being the plan right now, that plan being subject to be tweaked up or down, however things go. Purdue's football team, I believe, starts workouts Monday, maybe. Um, and uh, all signs point there, all signs point to there being some measure of football season taking place, and that's obviously uh, much better than the alternative. Uh, basketball, obviously. Uh, I think, you know, there are some differences between football and basketball, basketball being an indoor sport, you know, perhaps people being on top of each other a little bit more, 
there could be some some effects there for all we know. I think it's it's way too early to tell. Uh, but I I think simply the fact that basketball season starts months after the football season allows us to be in a much better position to have basketball as well. Um, so I'm not sure there's as great a concern there. That's not to say there's not concern, uh, but there is not as much concern probably. Uh, Recruiting-wise, obviously, we've talked about everything that's all of the challenges about this very unique recruiting cycle. Football is going to be putting together a 2021 class that it's it's like eight guys into now um, without the benefit of summer official visits. This will be a very, most likely, uh, without summer official visits. We don't know how that's going to go. August could always open up. Um, it'll be a very interesting recruiting cycle there. It'll be a very interesting recruiting cycle in basketball without the summer evaluation periods to this point. Uh, as you know, Purdue has one more scholarship to fill for 2021, which could be an excellent class, even if it's just two people. Then it will face a very, very important 2022 class where it has four scholarships. will not have had this summer to this point uh, to evaluate those players, and uh, obviously some challenges exist there as well. This is what we're going to be covering the hell out of at goldenblack.com here moving forward. Um, so I, I also wanted to kind of use this um, last quarantine video as a commercial uh, just to remind you uh, that we are here 24 hours a day. We are covering Purdue. We are talking about Purdue. We are here to answer your questions. We are here to, to be parts of the community we want you to be part of on our website. Uh, we want you to be on our message board, which obviously has its good days and its bad days sometimes. Uh, far more good days than bad days, I think, but um, it all comes from passion. It all comes from passion for Purdue. That is why we have thousands of people every day, thousands of Purdue fans coming through our website talking about Purdue. And uh, I understand, you know, everybody's financial situation is different right now uh, after the difficulties of the last few months. But if you can swing it, I think if you've been if you've been passionate enough about Purdue to listen to me talk about it every single day, um, you might be really interested in it. So I just wanted to remind you of that. Uh, we do have a 40 day free trial we offer. Uh, I, I don't know if it's necessarily gonna, gonna hit you over the head if you go to our website at goldenblack.com, but if you dig, you can find it. If not, email me at bnewbert at goldenblack.com. That's N-E-U-B-E-R-T at goldenblack.com. And I will be happy to, to help you uh, with that. Beyond that, we have we have our Golden Black Radio platform where a lot of you are listening to right now. We have our YouTube platform, obviously. We have all sorts of all sorts of platforms for you guys to follow us. But uh, I do think that if this has been something you found value in, looking at me every day talking about Purdue, um, I do think you would you would be interested in what we have to offer uh, at GoldenBlack.com. So please keep that in mind as well. I just want to thank everybody uh, for watching, for listening. You know, the best part of my job is interacting with fans. For the most part, there are a few of you who have screws loose and you probably know who you are. Uh, but the best part of my job is being part of that community. The, the message board we were on on our website has been the better part of my adult life, uh, which is mind boggling to say. I feel like I am part of that community. We all, Alan, Tom, we are part of that community. And uh, the more people we have in, in that community, the better. Um, I believe in our product. Um, I think it's very good. And I think if you were interested, it is, it is worth a look-see. So uh, that's what I kind of have to say for today. Just wanted to thank everybody once again for watching, for listening. It, it's, been, it's been a challenge coming up with stuff to talk about every day, but it has been a pleasure. I've gotten a lot of good feedback. I've gotten probably pissed a few of you off, but um, that's part of it. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for all of it. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. We really, really appreciate your interest in the in the product. We appreciate your interaction with this as well, except for the YouTube bots, except for you, uh, you bots who are trying to build followers off of traffic other people, other people generate. You suck. Anyway, once again, for the last time, as part of this series, Brian Newbert here from GoldenBlack.com in the old home office with your final goldenblack.com daily quarantine simulcast brought to you by Fox Purdue Bookstores, Purdue Federal Credit Union, the 6th Street Dive Restaurant, First Source Bank, East End Grill, and the Chargers Team Remax Ability Plus. I want to remind you one more and one, I guess, final time. Uh, if you're looking for a really good dinner this weekend, 
please keep in mind uh, the East End Grill in downtown Lafayette, the Sixth Street Dive in downtown Lafayette, Arnie's in Lafayette, West Lafayette, and all over the state, Bruno's on the levee, Triple X on the hill, and the Whitaker Inn out in West Lafayette by, uh, by Harrison High School. You will not be sorry if you, uh, if you reach out to any of those places for your meal tonight, tomorrow night, Sunday night, whatever it might be. Thanks so much, everybody, for keeping them in mind. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for listening to me. I'm going to go shed a tear now. So thanks, everybody. Hope you have a great weekend.